Capitol Hill, the incoming chairwoman of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus, Democratic Representative Linda Sanchez of California. Great to have you on this morning. Thank you for having me, Mika. It certainly was a big moment, um, and I, I, I applaud what the president did. That's where I stand on it. But having said that, I want to ask you about the politics, because there was a bit of a lecture from the president to Republicans on passing a bill and working to get something done, and him having almost no other choice here. And then Mitch McConnell lecturing back about how the government works. So given the dynamics here of what's happened over the past 24 hours, why would the House GOP be more inclined right now to pass a bill? Well, you know, the House GOP made a promise that they were going to take up the issue of immigration reform, and they reneged on that promise, and I think the President's announcement last night, which I think is a huge step forward in the right direction, might uh, propel them to actually sit down and think seriously about proposing something because they've done nothing and so I think in the grand scheme of things but is it a step the right forward thing to do at the, at the right time is it a step forward politically because might he have said look I'm going to do this unless you and then given them some time to pass a bill he, we have been waiting more than 500 days, that's more than a year, for the Republicans in the House to put up a bill on a yes or no vote. All they have to do is schedule the vote. They don't have to write something. It was something that was worked out, overwhelmingly passed in the Senate on a bipartisan basis. So that's Democrats right. and Republicans. Uh, and he promised, the Speaker promised that he would take it up and then backtracked on that so you know Republicans have never really wanted to work with the president they want to thwart attempts to move this country forward to take care of our country's business and then when nothing gets done because they fail to exercise leadership they love to point the finger of blame at others the fact of the matter is the president has been urging the speaker of the house for more than a year to mm -hmm. put something on the floor and it hasn't happened and you know these sudden you know cries from the republicans said well we need more time we need more time uh, you know, it's very disingenuous. Well, they don't have the time. They don't have Ray, a plan. Let me, let me bring Ray Swires in here, because I'm, I'm certainly not saying that they're, they're whining. I'm just wondering if the, president's, if the president's decision was politically strategic. Well, the, the, I'm, a, the, I'm asking Ray, hold on, and then, she, and then he'll go to you. Ray, take well, it. Well, this is, this is actually a, a postponed promise that he set a very high bar for himself. He had promised action when he began this Congress if the House did not act. The House did not act. Uh, many people were urging him to make this announcement before mm -hmm. the just completed elections. He didn't do it. Now the pressure was really going to ratchet up and he moved. All right, Harold Ford, Jr. Uh, uh, Congresswoman Sanchez, good morning, Harold Ford. Good morning, actually, Harold. We've heard, the, we've heard Republican leaders in the House and the Senate say if the president acted as he did last night, and I, I think the policy is sound, but let's deal with the politics to build on Mika's point. Do you but take them at their word that this poisons the well and may make it difficult to move and find progress on other issues from either the minimum wage to uh, energy to uh, health care to other issues that are important to the Democratic caucus? I will tell you that I don't believe that there was ever any intention to really compromise and sit down and try to work on the areas where we can find common ground. And I think they look for excuses not to really work with the president on the business that this country needs to get to. Right. Um, you talk about tax reform this year. I serve on the Ways and Means Committee. Uh, we worked diligently this whole term to try to get a tax reform bill, worked with the Republican chairman of the committee, Mr. Camp, uh, to try to get that done, and it was their side that derailed that attempt, right. not the Democrats. Right. So, you know, they promise, they say, hey, we really want to work on this, we just, you know, we really need more time, and yeah. I think th the reality is they don't have any intention of trying to compromise and work out differences in areas where we may have common ground. And, and I, th I think they use the issue of immigration to do what, you know, secretly they want to do anyway, which is just try to uh, thwart attempts to get anything moving in the Congress. All right. Congresswoman Linda Sanchez, thanks for being up early with us this morning. We appreciate your time. Um, My pleasure. Javier, does, 